Carol Burnett and Friends, starring Carol Burnett. That's our show for tonight. <laughs> Welcome to our show this evening. We have Harvey Corman, Vicki Lawrence, and our special guests are Lena Zavaroni and Alan King. This is Hollywood Boulevard, where most of movie land has been immortalized by these stars in the sidewalk. Here you will find the great, the near great, the remembered, and occasionally, even the forgotten. Hey, Clark Gable. Look, Gregory Peck. Yeah. Francis has been. No, that's Aspen. Francis H. Aspen. <laughs> never heard of him. Never, never heard. D don't you remember David and Goliath, 1921? No. Oh. Well, perhaps this will refresh your memory. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. This one, you should pluck your flower from the tree of life, grind it into a fine medicinal powder, and blow it out your nose! Mark Antony, quickly, we must hide behind the pyramids. <gasps> I knew it. Feed her, Clara. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, to one of the little people without <laughs> whose deep devotion there would be no me. <laughs> Peter, Clara, here you are, my good man, and get your filthy foot off my star. There you are, information. You are not the only one here with a star on the sidewalk. No. Take a look. <laughs> oh, well, let me see. <clears throat> You're not Gregory Peck. <laughs> <laughs> You're certainly not Clark Gable. <laughs> Francis has been? Uh, that's your Aspen. Francis H. Aspen. <laughs> Francis H. Aspen? I... I thought you were dead. I thought we were both dead. <laughs> Are you sure it's you? I seem to recall a very sad occasion connected with you. That was our wedding. <laughs> we were married. My goodness. Did we have any children? I'm not quite sure. I seem to remember a poodle. <laughs> Sure, we were married. 
Um, perhaps maybe we just, uh... Probably. <laughs> but I'm also sure we got married. That's strange. I, I usually remember all of my marriages. I, <laughs> I can't understand why you would slip my mind. Perhaps this will jog your memory. Francis. <laughs> Now do you remember? No, but I can now understand why you slipped my mind. <laughs> Still the same comedian. The next time I do a light comedy, I shall ask for you. Oh, thanks. Well, I, uh, I must be off to the studio. Uh, scripts, wardrobe, script, conferences, oh. you remember? Oh, of course I do. Yes. You're lucky. <laughs> My goodness, today I have to go to a luncheon at the Brown Derby. You uh. know, one of those icky press conferences with all the reporters and, and all the photographers. <laughs> Taking my picture. Oh, how I hate that flash powder. <laughs> hey, George, look at Theda Clara. She was the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh. And look here, Francis H. Aspen. Oh, what a crush I had on him. Remember what a great actor you thought he was? Yes. I'm so glad we saw their plans. <laughs> oh, me too. That's when stars were stars. <laughs> oh. You're right. It's better that they remember us the way we were. Yes. Well, Francis, I... I have to be running along now. <laughs> Tell me something. What? Are you really going to the Brown Derby? Of course not, Francis. I, I'm just going back to my little room at the Golden Years Retirement Home. You're joking. No. I'm right across the street at Sunnyvale. You're joking. No. Well, let's have lunch sometime. How about now? Now? Well, all right. <laughs> you know, something told me today to wear my teeth. <laughs> 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 <laughs>